Hello ladies and gentlemen, guys and ghouls. My name's Kevin and this is my channel, The Art of Horror. Today's episode is brought to you by the letter P for Phantasm. So I thought for today's picture I thought it would be appropriate to try my hand at an illusion. Phantasm came out in 1979 and was directed by Don Cossarelli. It starred A. Michael Baldwin, Bill Thornbury and Reggie Bannister and featured the uh, wonderful actor Angus Scrim, of course as the tall man. When it first came out here in Australia it wasn't called Phantasm. It was on my video store shelf as The Never Dead. Later versions of it that came out changed back to the name Phantasm of course. I really enjoyed these movies and have just acquired a copy of Phantasm Ravager which I'm yet to see and plan to watch in the next couple of days. Phantasm 2 came out in 1988 and once again brought back Angus Scrim and Reggie Bannister with the lead role being taken over by James LeGross. These movies feature a very uh, original storyline and produced an unlikely horror icon in the form of the Sentinel Spheres. These evil levitating orbs whose job it was to guard the portal to another universe were a menacing foe. The main ones having spikes for digging into somebody's skull and a drill for boring in and expelling the blood from somebody's cranium as quickly as possible. They were responsible for producing one of the most disturbing horror movie scenes I ever saw as a child, with one of the victims wetting himself and shaking uncontrollably as his skull was bored into. These horrible creations later on inspired uh, the video game Turok 2 to produce the cerebral bore, which was one of my favourite weapons to use in that game. I wasn't sure if this illusion was going to work or not, I'd never actually tried anything like this before. So I was pleasantly surprised and it actually had the effect of tricking my eye. So this was more of an experiment. I'd like to try a more detailed, uh, a similar thing later on. Maybe using some instrumentation and uh, the airbrush to get it a lot more precise. Put some actual imagery into the uh, reflective surface of the orb but I was pleased with the experiment in the end, so here it is. I think I might do a recap on the other movies before I watch uh, this latest iteration of Phantasm, Phantasm Ravager, as I actually enjoyed uh, all of them. The first one uh, being the best in my mind, of course. The second one I thought was fantastic as well. The third one probably the weakest in the series. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And feel free to leave any comments down below. If you have any suggestions of anything you'd like to see me draw, please leave it in the comment section as well. Thank you all for watching. This has been Kevin for The Art of Horror. Until next time, you all take care.